Hello, my name is Manisha Lat Gupta and I am the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. In this video, I want to talk to you about the foundations that we have used in the construction of our sustainable house. As you may know, this house has been built with rammed earth, stone and lime. And very often I have been asked this question like what is the foundation like for the rammed earth walls? The foundations in our house have been built with stone and lime mortar. Now we used stone because it's a local material and it was easier for us to build a big three foot foundation with stone rather than making it with brick. And we wanted to use lime mortar specifically because the foundations are what come in touch with our soil. And as you know, we grow all our own food and therefore any leaching of toxins into our soil was not acceptable to us. So the lime mortar has been made with lime and sand. This is a typical mortar mix, but we usually add brick powder in it as a pozzolan. A pozzolan, as you know, is an ingredient that we add to our lime mortar to increase its speed of setting. And the way it works is that it actually fills up the entire mortar with many small, small holes, which bring in more air into it and allow the lime to set faster. The advantages of using lime in our foundation is that first, there are no toxins which are leaching out into our soil. But also that lime is a termite resistant ingredient. So when you use lime in your foundations, you don't really need to do any anti-termite treatment. And we have not done any anti-termite treatment under our house. This was a very important thing for us because there's no point in building a non-toxic sustainable house and then doing an anti-termite treatment into the ground. The third thing is that lime is very breathable. So it allows the moisture to come and go. And therefore, when there is heavy rainfall, etc., it's a very well draining foundation. You know, water can come into it and it can get out of it also very easily. And as a result, moisture does not creep up into the walls. Of course, we do have a plinth beam on top of this foundation, which doubles up as a DPC layer. But the idea still was to keep the foundation very breathable with a very good flow of water and moisture from one side to the other. So that's the foundation that we have used. What you put into your soil and what is your foundation really sets the code for the rest of your house. So if you are looking to build a sustainable house, it will be good to start at the foundation itself. So even if you're working with brick, try to use lime mortar. And if you can find some stone, nothing like it. So that's it from me today and do keep watching our playlist called The Sustainable House. I think you'll get many ideas on what you can do with a brand new construction but also with the renovation of an old home and make it a little bit more sustainable and non-toxic. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.